I wanted to do something for Ringa. I was becoming pretty well known as a sculptor. So I looked at the symbol of Manly, which is the dolphin, and they went down to Ringa Mall, which was fairly new in those days. We're talking about 1989, I think it was. And he took one look at this and said, we've got to have it. We'll pay for the sculpture. We'll maintain it for the length of its life, but it's got to live here for forever. In Ringa Mall, the sculpture's always been maintained by whoever owns the mall. Centre Group have a tremendously responsible attitude to looking after their sculpture. They have done a magnificent job reconditioning it and putting it back in, in a, an even more beautiful setting than what it was before. Yeah, so we facilitated ones? workshops where we asked the locals what they wanted to see in their mall. We've really taken on board the feedback that the community has given us in order to make sure that what we deliver is good for them and what they've asked for. We made sure that the heart of the Ringer Mall, the centre court, the dolphin sculpture, was the hero and the centipede that tied it all together. It's something that, yeah, the locals were really proud of and we didn't want to take it away from them, I guess, if no. anything, wanted to return it to them mm. in a like, new and improved manner. There was a lot of history with the, with the dolphin fountain and everyone used to say, we'll meet you at the fountain. If you get lost, come see us at the fountain and the next generation of customers are going to be able to do and say the same thing and how we've really celebrated it in the centre of our mall and the centre of our centre court. It's really where community space meets retail space and I think that's a, a great illustration of how we're connecting the heritage of, of the mall that really calls on the past but also looks ahead to the future. We've created an extraordinary place.